Ten-week-old Torilai clings to life in a Kabul hospital, born hungry and rocked by his grandmother as his mother lies too weak and unable to feed him in another ward. The family were burnt out of their home by the Taliban. He's just one of a hundred malnourished babies a month brought into this specialist ward. Toralai's grandmother, Shirin Gul, says there's not enough to feed the family on what her son earns as a market porter and what she earns washing clothes. Nine years on, there's not much to show for 24 billion pounds of aid that's been poured into Afghanistan. There are even reports that US aid money may be directly fueling the Taliban insurgency. Launching a congressional report on misspent aid, Congressman John Tierney said American government money is funding a protection racket that would make Tony Soprano proud. His committee found spending of more than two and a half million pounds a week on protection money to allow US military convoys through. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said this is a major source of funding for the Taliban and it risks undermining the US strategy for Afghanistan. With most aid money spent outside the government, most of the corruption is outside the government. The security contracts, most of them are not helping the Afghan economy. Goods that could be procured here in Afghanistan are not procured here. They are procured somewhere else. They are not creating jobs for the Afghans. They are fueling corruption. Aid money that is given to the government, the internationals who are here on the ground will tell you is better managed by the government than it's managed outside. Providing affordable food needs a different kind of aid spending. A new business loan for this bakery came from an Afghan government controlled bank funded by Britain, where the Department for International Development already puts more than half of its aid to Afghanistan through the government. They say they stop corruption by hiring honest people. We have a lot of ways that we uh, stop the corruption. The one way is to hire in every field honest person. If we have honest person in the staff, the rate, uh, uh, ratio of corrupt will be uh, less. In the hospital on the other side of town, Turalai's grandmother says she doesn't care where the aid comes from as long as her family survives. In committing to put half of all aid spending through the government, International donors have now agreed the most radical program yet to use aid money more effectively. David Loyne, BBC News, Kabul. Discuss with me, Peter Dow, and other viewers of this video by registering your own username account with the Far Freedom Forums.